Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This Rosie yesterday is May 12th. Listen, I'm going to give you a couple minutes on that. <laughs> Real Housewives of Atlanta, baby. Let me tell you. Honey, I wish I wanted to have a white shirt with my boobs out, but I don't even think I have a shirt or a piece of cloth where I can exp have my boobs up and they're out and you know because that was the theme of the show wear white and make sure your boobs is out the only person who didn't have their boobs out that I can remember was Kenya with her beautiful self the most beautiful on the show I said it and then there's Eva but let me tell you naturally um I mean you know I think Eva has had any plastic surgery. I don't I can't say the that about the other ones. But anyway, um part one, let's talk about the fashions. Everyone was stunning. So this is not even gonna be a long video. Everyone was absolutely beautiful. And you know, what kills me is is that most of them, not all of them, most of them did. The makeup themselves are off camera and i'm just like cynthia was absolutely gorgeous people say we look alike um <sighs> portia you know portia's gonna bring it you know portia will bring it not only did she bring that face and that hair honey she brought that mouth portia let me tell you she was ready but you know what portia gives good tv because not only is she cute but she has that sassy mouth and she will pull up. And that's why she, you never hear about Portia, um, her position <laughs> being deleted, even though she has committed assault on a few folks. But Portia's still there. You know why? Because she has a look, she has a story a line, and she has a mouth. Portia stays looking good, thick or thin, honey. That booty is getting bigger every season. She has the beauty you never see portia looking bad focus you never see that portia looking bad honey yes niece um and she's a hustler oh no honey she said you know what she was like that tina turner with her first husband you could just give me that car and my clothes and i'm out and look she's in a mansion she has her own money i'm so proud of you portia i i really am Baby, but Portia brought it. <laughs> she told Eva, I will beat your butt on, on viral, on TV, and in pro person. Next time I see you, you got one coming. You got a fade coming. She didn't say a fade, but she said, oh, no, you got one coming, honey. I was like, okay, Portia, come through. No, actually, I don't want her to commit, you know, violence or whatever, not against Eva, because I, I like Eva, but we'll go to Eva. Um. But baby, Portia, <laughs> honey, she was ready. And that's what you do when you're on reality TV. You see what I'm saying? If if, if it's not, it's between Portia, Kenya, and um, Nene. They bring it. They are the show. Like, and every year it's like, oh, is, is Nene coming? Is, is she not going to come? Is Nene coming? Is she not going to come? You know what I'm saying? She's the show. That's what makes the show. You know what I'm saying? doesn't matter if you have a storyline as long as you have that mouth, okay? And you give us what we want. You entertain us. You're there, all right? So, Portia brought it. Beautiful outfit, beautiful. I can't even remember all of it, all what she had on the detail or whatever because that mouth, honey, that mouth is beautiful. That mouth and that beauty or whatever. And she had it. She had it. She was ready. 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 Eva. Boy, I love me some Eva. And now everyone's like, oh, Eva should go. No, Eva should not go. Because she's a housewife for one. She has kids for two. Her husband um, is running for office or he's a politician. And you kind of need some a fallback. He's an attorney and he's a politician. She's a movie star. She's a star. A beautiful one. And they make beautiful babies. But Eva... Eva has that whiff, and I see that Eva is holding back, but she did let it out a little on the thing. But she's kind of holding back because she can't get like real ghetto like Portia and Nini. But 
Eva has it all. She has beauty. She's intelligent. She's married. Um, she has a storyline. She has a history. You see what I'm saying? She has a following and she's not boring. I don't know why you guys hate on Eva and she does say what she means and she means what she says. She falls back. She goes forward or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She may take stuff back or whatever, but so does Nene. Okay, well, let's get on Nene. Girl, y'all know I love me some Nene, but honey, Nene was about my color. Did you hear what, uh, who said that Eva was like, is this white chicks? Uh, Nene, baby, you ain't high yellow. You ain't, you ain't light skin. Like why? You're not light skin. That's just like me putting on, um, putting on foundation that's like five, trying to be her color. I would have to put on, look at this. I'm black like this and not like this. You see what I'm saying? Like, um, Nene, no, you need to stop bleaching your skin allegedly and putting on that light foundation. You're, you're not yellow. Okay. You're brown. Like you have to own your beauty and your natural color. Okay. You, you're not my complexion, boo. All right. Even with the foundation. You're not my complexion. Stop that skin bleaching. It's not becoming. I hate when I hate when dark people skin bleach. That's just like a waste of melon. Why? And then okay, we get the blonde wigs, okay? But your skin color and the blonde wigs, even with the skin bleaching and the light foundation, it doesn't match because you're like light skin right here. And then your dark right here, see right here, you see as I get lighter, light, 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 you see, you see how light this is compared to this light right here. It's not darker, it's lighter. Do you understand? But anyway, let me tell you, Nene brought it. She was ready. That's why she is the queen of Housewives of Atlanta. That's why she gets the top dollar. That's why she came from nothing and she is something. Nene is that bitch. I'm sorry. She is that bitch. I don't really think that her and, um, what's her name? My girl, who's who's my big sister? Who is my, Wendy Williams. But... As far as Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene has come. She has slayed. She is the brand. She actually, she's almost Bravo's brand. She's like the biggest star on Bravo. It's Nene equals Bravo. Bravo equals Nene. Like Nene's not going anywhere. She, she does not have to worry. I was surprised when I heard on AT Alien that Candy gets more money than Nene or she's the second in line. I don't see that. But no, Nene brought it, hair slayed, makeup slayed, even though it's like my color and she's definitely not my skin complexion. Never has been, never will be. Um, but she brought it. Her outfit, her boobs was up and out and separated or whatever. We don't know. I, anyway, no, they're not real. But anyway, but that was the theme to have your boobs up and out and, you know, Except for Kenya, whatever. So, um, no, Nene brought it. No, Nene will keep bringing it. And that's why she's the queen. As I said before, that's what we want. We want to be entertained. And Bravo and the Housewife of, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, you guys gave it to us. You gave us something that we needed to see. Oh, yes, you definitely did. Now, Candy. I, you know, remember I was telling you that in Greece, Candy was just gorgeous. Her, you know, weave or wig or whatever. And her makeup was just phenomenal. I didn't get it this time. Yeah, although she looked beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. And one thing I got to say about Candy that I can't say about Nini or Kenya or Cynthia. She is not skin bleaching allegedly um but uh, did she have her boobs out i'm not exactly sure mm. you know what for part one but i think if they bring phaedra back 
oh, we're going to see another side of candy. Oh, yes, we will definitely see another side of candy. But you know, candy has a lot going on with the new baby or whatever. But still, she her look was okay. I mean, she was beautiful, but she wasn't stunning. And normally, candy brings it. I mean, she is normally flawless when it comes to the reunions. But she did her makeup herself and her hair. Which for, you know, herself or whatever, it's okay. Um, I personally would have got a lace front or something. and But that's me. Anyway. So, Cynthia. She had that wig, right? You know. She's okay. Mm -hmm. Part one, maybe part two, she'll bring it. Um... Now let's get to Kenya. Kenya's beautiful. Kenya is just absolutely stunning. As far as makeup, Kenya, like, Kenya and Portia, you don't see them looking bad, ever. Always. Just phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? I think we did see a picture of Portia. Now we have seen Kenya and Portia without makeup. and But um, Kenya is awesome just stunning but you know she's a beautiful human being even and i told you i met her about 20 years ago i'm at a skate ring but she is just a beautiful human being and she's intelligent one thing i will say and you know kenya bought it you know kenya is going to bring it again kenya nini and portia if you have those three you're gonna have a show all right if you eliminate one of them, you may have a show. But if you have all three of them together on a good day and a bad day, you're going to get some entertainment. So bravo that, you know, those three, you can't let go. If you have to let go anyone, those three. Mm -mm. And Nene has already always said Kenya makes for good TV. Portia makes for good TV. And we all know that Nene makes for good TV. Nene will lie, die, cry. But she makes, you're going to get a show when you get a nini a nini leaks okay nini is the queen of the housewives franchise she's the queen so please but anyway um kenya there's one thing she said and she was she was real and pleasant when she said it when she checked um eva regarding that nappy hair comment which I said on ATL and I said, what's wrong with nappy hair? There's absolutely nothing wrong with having nappy hair to referring to it nappy hair. We as black women, a lot of us have nappy hair. There's nothing derogatory about nappy hair. Okay. I have nappy hair. I have videos where you can see when my hair is kinky and curled up or whatever. It is what it is. You know, actually I have to do another video because my hair is grown. I, you know, if my hair could get that afro, baby, you wouldn't hardly see these wigs. But I'm about to, you might see it this summer because I'm about to put braids or something in my hair. But anyway, um, Kenya went on to tell Eva, look, and she didn't say it in a very condescending way. She was just saying, as a woman, speaking to Eva, of a woman who has pretty eyes and lighter skin, and hair that is not nappy, you have to be extremely careful <clears throat> in quoting or saying or referring to black women with nappy hair, although you are black, but there's a large, you know, population of black women who are darker and who have nappy hair. And you just have to be careful in saying that. Well, I have nappy hair. You know, I'm, I have a lighter complexion. I, my hair is, you know, it shrivels up, shrivels. Mm -hmm. I just washed it out yesterday because I have braids and it shrivels, you know, it's just kinky. Whatever you blow dry is thin and it's soft. I can put gel in it. It is what it is, but there's nothing wrong with nappy hair, honey, because I look good in this. This orange baby, even if it was an orange nappy hair, I might, you know what, I'm going to order me a nappy headed wig. You know, big old afro. Ooh, that's what I'm going to do. Or Mike, can I make one? I think I might make one. Anyway, um, so I can appreciate the way um, Kenya dissected that advice to Eva. I can appreciate it. That's what a friend does. Now, are they friends? I don't know, because one minute, then the next minute, then the next minute, I don't know. 
Um, as far as fashion, Kenya was beautiful. She brought it. She will bring it. Kenya will be Kenya. I don't know what part two or part three is or whatever. But, you know, with, with Kenya, Kenya brings it. She's a full package. She has intelligence. She has a way to communicate it, whether it's condescending or uplifting or whatever, or sneaky or messy. That's what Kenya is. You know Kenya. You know Kenya is a part of the brand. She's not, you know, the queen. Cause no one can take that from Nini. Nini can lie, die, like steal, kill, whatever. Nini is always going to be the queen of the real Housewife of Atlanta franchise brand. Um, but Kenya is, you know, she's amazing. She's an amazing person. I hope that she and, you know, Mark, either they get it together or she doesn't. You know, she has her baby. I mean, I know she, and she, as messy as she is on TV, I think she really wants the marriage to work. And she will do whatever it takes. You know, that's real life. Like, her daughter is real life, you know. Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta can come and go, but her family, oh no, baby, she ain't playing about that. She, I could see her really hurt someone when she come, when it comes to that, you know, considering her upbringing or whatever. We won't go into that right now, but oh no, Kenya, Kenya is everything. So Kenya, thank you for bringing the entertainment. Oh, did we go on? Yeah, we do on Nene. Did we go on Eva? I think we went. Did we go down? Eva and it seems like I'm forgetting someone who's the lady with the long face like me Tanya Tanya's a beautiful she's cute I mean you know we kind of look because we kind of have the same complexion we both have a long face but um she's gonna have to bring it a little more yeah she's cute and she's you know happy and joyous and she can dress and everything but it seems like she has to do a little more to fit in to be like being messy and catty and entertaining and you know ratchet or whatever that's not really her and i'm not saying that everyone has to be ratchet because candy's not ratchet um cynthia they say she's there's some type of alter ego how she really is but when you see she's not being her authentic self and it shows you see what i'm saying when you're trying to hide back like with me i like to curse i have a, a, a very um putty mouth and you can sometimes see in how i'm trying to communicate i, I can't you know actually say things that how I would prefer to say it because you know people can see me or whatever so it's you know you can't really see the authentic me but it, it's coming I mean you know I don't know I, I, I don't know but you, you can tell the difference um Tanya you know she's cute and she has money and she's you know smart and everything and she's well traveled but I don't know I, I don't know. Um, so, you know, just the gist of it all. Oh, gosh. The gist of it all, this was a great part one. Now, if part two can, you know, withstand or do better than part one, I, I'm ready for it, honey. I am ready for it because it was a hot mess. Okay, let me go because let me. I, got, I need to load up these videos. I got to get to um, Whole Foods to get my Amazon package. And um, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye. Have a great day.